Hi everyone, welcome to Strike. In today's video, we are going to analyze a stock in depth. So the stock is Petronet LNG. Now you can see that it has been in a lot of news that it has broken out above its all time highs here in yesterday's session. So these were the previous highs and it has now closed above those highs. So it's, it looks like a promising breakout. So we'll try to analyze this one. So I'll begin with the futures early positioning screen. And that is because this stock came on our radar uh, in the beginning of December and I'll show you how. So if I go to the rollover screen and then select early positioning. So for those of who you're not aware about what is early positioning, we have detailed videos and uh, webinars on the same that you can find out in the webinar section of strike here. And also you can check the same on YouTube channel. So all the numbers that you're seeing here is the starting open interest on the first day of new expiry for each stock. So whenever there is a big deviation, be it upwards or downwards, basically the OI reaching an extreme number on the first day of new expiry, it reflects us that some big positions have built up in this stock and there can be a big trade that can unfold. So if I search for uh, the same stock here, now what you can see here is that on an average since last year, it's OI at the beginning of expiry was close to uh, 1 crore 30 lakhs, 1 crore 25 lakhs and that and so on. So if I fast forward to this November and December period, you can see gradually it started reaching the 2 crore range as well. But what happened here in December 2023 was it doubled. So the OI was 2 crore 19 lakhs in the previous month, the starting open interest I'm talking about. And on the first day of December expiry, it doubled to four and a half crores. So the same data is now visible on the expiry to expiry chart. So all these lines you are seeing reflects the price change from one expiry to next expiry and the open interest tells us what is the beginning OI on that. So you can see here the spike at the end of November, the open interest was at all time high. So which means there was a huge short buildup from there on. It has started to given us short covering rally. So now let's view it on the day, day to day futures chart to get a better idea of it. So this is the chart. If I zoom out, then you can see, I'll just plot some horizontal lines on the open interest. So this was the range in which it's OI used to oscillate in all this period. So some people will also consider this as a huge triangle pattern that was a multi-year pattern. And now I'm talking about this period that is the beginning of December. Let, I, let me mark it with a vertical line. So this period is the peak OI that we observed on the early positioning screen that there has been a huge short buildup in this rally. So this was a point where with the help of other technical tools, you could have uh, entered a long trade. And by that, I mean, the, uh, the rally was in the beginning backed by short covering. So OI did started to fall and the previous peaks in OI, this line has become a new lower end for the stock. So now we can say that the range for the OI has been changed to this zone. So it, it is oscillating in this zone. So this whole short, uh, short buildup was covered here in this rally. And again, you saw some kind of uh, unwinding here. And now, now what we are seeing is the OI has been rising since the beginning of April, along with the rise in the price. So now there is a fresh long buildup that is happening on the way up. If we look at volumes also, then the volumes have also picked up and you can see yesterday's breakout has happened on a very strong volume. So if we continue to see long build up from here on till it reach again reaches extreme zone, ideally this move can continue. So this was the insight on the basis of futures data 
that this stock uh, had made us interested way back in December. So I'm just talking about data points here. I'm not trying to give you any trading or investment advice. So that's the take on futures data. Now let's have a look at the fundamental data points as well. So as you can see, the recommended parameters here are the PE as well as the EV is to EBITDA ratio. And I'm looking at the five year data. So these lines in the middle are average and median lines. The green lines below are the minus one and as well as minus two standard deviation. And on the top, we have plus one and plus two standard deviation. So during all this period, even in the beginning of December, it was below minus one standard deviation. And then now finally it has reached the fair value and trying to go above that as well. The similar thing we'll be able to see on other ratios as well. Similar is the case here on the AV to beta. If I look at price to book value, then also it was in November, it was almost very close to minus two cent division from there it has picked up very well. And if we look at market cap to sales as well, there also you can see this dull period where it has it was undervalued and now starting to pick up so it is still not overvalued so there still can be a lot of room now i'm going to the charts and i'll begin with the valuation setup only now valuation setup is nothing but looking at the uh, valuations along with the rmi cycle so you can see here on the weekly chart valuations had been lying in this region for a long period of time, but the stock used to remain sideways. So this is where the momentum helps you. Then when you finally start seeing momentum build up like here, you, you can see the weekly RMI gave a signal on 11th December weekly candle. So if I convert it to candles, you can see whole rally has played out. And so basically cheap valuations alone are not enough until you get some momentum in the stock. So now let me go to the plain technical chart so that we can analyze more. So as discussed on the monthly chart, we are trying to, uh, you know, see a proper breakout here above the previous all time high of 299. Right now it's at 302. Of course, monthly candle still has some time in the closing. We look at weekly we do we did see some whipsaw here on the weekly rmi but all other factors are still bullish and on the daily chart this recent signal we got around the end of march when the price was around 263 and 265 now it is already up to uh, 302 but looking at the strength of this breakout this might actually continue to go up Let's go to the overview page to look at the seasonality patterns. So seasonally, April and May have actually been good months for this stock and currently we are in April and it has already returned over 14% return this month. So next month also looks bullish from the seasonality point of view. So there's one more interesting scan on which I saw this stock. So if I go to scanners. Yeah. So this is the ATR scan that I run sometimes for the bullish ATR signal. So ATR is nothing but the average true range that is uh, average daily movement for that stock. And when a stock moves up or down more than that, it is uh, something that we try to spot on this scan. And what happens in conjunction to this is sometimes it is accompanied by breakouts both in the ATR as well as in the stock itself. So here in yesterday's result, the stock has popped up and now we know that it is a breakout to all time highs even above this uh, 2019 highs and in even above this recent highs of uh, February. So let me draw a line here. At the same time, during all this period, its average daily movement was contracting and now what you can see here is even the ATR is starting to move up along with the price you can see this part of the chart as well where the atr was moving up now 
it seems to have gone into a new range so you can see uh, earlier it was in this particular range from 6.45 to 3.85 and now it has made a high of 10.8 and now actually bottom round 8 only so why this range shift because the price of the stock itself has gone into a new territory so this ATR is based on absolute price terms which is why from time to time it can change its ranges as well so this is a important way of uh, tracking the breakouts now if i am going back to the stock section to look at other technicals as well as volume volumes we already discussed now if i look at other momentum indicators like macd here also very recently we have got a fresh bullish signal that is still uh, going going on so previously also if you see the signal we received way back in november lasted up to february so the, this time it's been actually very less days as of now so now since it has already broken about, about this resistance of uh, we can say 295 to 300 zone so that can be a important support now so if i draw the lines so this is 296 and the previous high was 299 so one more line on 299 so this particular zone which has been a resistance could now actually act as a support while we are at it let's also see options data now what you can see here is highest call open interest is at 300 right as well as highest put is also at 300 and in yesterday's session the total put writing exceeded the total call writing by more than double so more puts were written so people are gaining confidence and the it has closed above this level of 300 that is its spot it has closed at 302 and in the future it has closed at 303.8 so it's actually closed above this uh, level of highest oi which can actually mean that call writers will have to run for cover if it continues to stay above that level so if i do go to the oi inside screen see what it tells me yeah so the same same thing we can see here is it has closed above the resistance of 300 and 300 uh, writers have actually reduced in yesterday's session and there has been a huge build up in the put writing so put writers are gaining control over this level so 300 can actually now act as a good support for this stock going forward so that's pretty much it about today's video we tried to look at a very long term breakout in this stock backed by futures and options data and we also had a look at the fundamentals which were uh, the, the valuations were very cheap back in December and now they seem to have a pickup in that so if you like this video do give, a, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we'll stay tuned for future such future analysis we'll see you in the next video thank you